Wait! Okay, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. Do it! Okay, let's see, let's see. Shake it a bit more. There she is. So fast! The Queen Ant! See if I can catch her. Yes! What a beautiful Formica Queen Ant this is! Being an ant keeper can be both exhausting and exciting at once. Usually, when I go outside, specifically searching to find a queen ant or ant colony, I oftentimes find myself being out of luck and it seems hard, nigh impossible to catch one. But on this day, I've noticed many wild formica ants were surrounding this flower pot here. Could that be just a coincidence? Or did I finally discover a lead to some new ants for our ant farms? Keep watching until the end as I'm going to need your help. Hello and welcome to the Ants Vienna Ant Channel. If you like what I do here, do me a favor hit the thumbs up button and subscribe with the bell icon. It helps me out more than you think, plus it's totally free. And as a thanks, I'll show you a picture of my little hamster, Silver. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, for a few days now, since the weather got warmer and more ants forage around my house and garden, I have noticed many worker ants in the vicinity of this planter. Some ants just wander around, while others take care and milk the aphids on top of this plant. And if those ants take care of these aphids, then it is safe to assume they use them as a more permanent food source. And a more permanent food source for ants means that there should be an ant nest nearby, correct? Well, to find out, I've asked my fiancé for help. The plan is for her to pick up the flower pot. Then I get to see what's underneath and be ready to catch any quinant we might unveil by picking it up. So, are you ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one, go! As expected, a lot of movement here. Look, this is a big pupa, potentially a queen pupa. If this colony is already producing a late, there has to be a queen somewhere. Could you shake it a bit more? There she is, so fast for the camera. Here we are, a beautiful Formica Quinant. And afterwards, I ended up catching a few, <coughs> actually a lot of workers, so this ant colony can sustain itself in our care. Let's have a look. Aren't these ants beautiful? Their abdomen has this golden shimmer if the light hits them from the right angle. And although they look like Formica fusca, I assure you they're not. But what ants are these? If you know what ants these might be, let me know in the comments below. I read and answer them all. I mean, I can tell they are Formica, but what species exactly? Has any one of you ever caught ants like this? This is where I need your help in identifying in what ant species this is and any tips you can give me are welcome. I am also going to post some pictures of them in our Ants Vienna Discord server, so feel free to join me over there too. Now guys, since everything was so sudden and I had to leave for my trip to Greece a few hours later, I decided to place them 
in this acrylic ant farm I've bought online many years ago. But, as you can see, the ants don't seem to be very comfortable in it. Even the slightest disturbance causes all ants, including the queen ant, to run out of the nesting chambers and try to hide in the sand of the outworld, which they have turned into a magnificent world of tunnels. I guess living in a flower pot for so long has made them excellent diggers. So, since this colony is used to living in sand, or better say dirt, of the flowers, I am thinking of making an ants vena DIY ant farm for them. But what should their ant farm look like? What materials should I use to make it? Let me know how you imagine their ideal ant farm in the comments below. We obviously need to use some digging medium to give them the opportunity to shape the tunnels the way they want to, but we also need to be able to monitor them closely. Now, admittedly, I've been incredibly lucky to find a whole ant colony, including a queen ant, in that flower pot. Since the normal way to start ant keeping and found your first ant colony is to get out, search and catch a queen ant during the ant nuptial flight season, which is the mating season of ants. During that time, young queen ants and males, also called drones, from many colonies swarm out and seek a mating partner to ensure the survival of the species for the next generation. After mating, the young, now fertilized ant queens land on the ground, break off their wings and seek an appropriate nesting spot to build their nesting chamber. And this time frame, that is the best moment for you to find and catch a queen ant. Wait, it gets even better. If you live in the northern earth hemisphere, like North America or Europe, Queen ants are swarming right now as we speak, up until September, depending on the ant species. So I strongly suggest you get out in nature and start looking for queens. And if you haven't done that before and want to know where and how to look for queen ants, here is a video where I take you with me on my search for queen ants and how I catch them. Happy queen ant hunting!